guys, welcome back to another video. It is currently 10 o'clock at night. Um, and sorry if it's a little bit echoey. I'm filming in a different spot in our house because I need this somewhere with good lighting. So this is the best that it's gonna get. Uh, I just got Xander down to sleep finally. He kind of went down a little bit late tonight, but I've been really wanting to get another baby update video out for you guys. And I wanted to do it this past weekend, but it got really busy. And then I wanted to do it today, like earlier in the day, but again, really busy with just cleaning the house. And Xander has been super like fussy and needy lately, um, which is fine. So I just give like my attention to him and I just sometimes don't have time to do anything else. But I'm filming it now because I really want to get this up for you guys because we have some exciting stuff coming up. We have um, our gender reveal coming up in a couple weeks. Well, not a couple weeks, maybe like a week and a half. It's at the end of this month on the 27th. Today is Monday, um, March 14th. So on the 27th is when we find out the gender or our gender reveal party. We actually go tomorrow to find out the gender, but of course we won't know until the end of the month. Anyways, so I'm gonna do a baby update. I had another OB appointment and another ultrasound. I believe I mentioned in my last video that I was switching back to my old OB, the one that I had with Xander, because I just wasn't really happy with where I was going. I, I wanted to try a new place I was closer to home, and I just wasn't really happy with like how things were around over there, and I just felt more comfortable with my old OB that I had with Xander, just because she knows me and you know, familiar face type thing. So I'm more comfortable over there, even though it's a little bit more of a drive, but I did have my appointment with her um, a couple weeks ago on the third. So baby is healthy, baby is great. I have some ultrasound pictures that I'll show you here in a minute. So I know I mentioned before my last update that during my first ultrasound, they were measuring me, or they were measuring the baby 10 days behind like based off my last menstrual so instead of me being i forgot how long how far along i i forgot how far along i thought i was but basically it put me back like a week and a few days behind like a week and three days so going based off of that this past friday i just turned 13 weeks so today I would be well let me just double check to be exact because pregnancy brain you guys I don't even know sometimes okay so today that would put me at 13 weeks and three days so I'm gonna go based off of that for now with the same due date as September 16th that they gave me for my first ultrasound so Fast forward to a couple weeks ago when I went to my um, appointment. I had another ultrasound, got to see baby again. They did their whole, they did their own like measurements and all that because the last place didn't send over my information from the first ultrasound, so they didn't have anything. So basically, they were treating this as like a first ultrasound for them. So they did like all the measurements and whatnot. And like I said, baby is healthy and growing on track. But um, they were, again, questioning me. Let me just pull this out because it's obviously on here and I forget. Okay, so when I went on the third, based off my last menstrual, I would have been 13 weeks and two days. So pretty much what I am today. I know it's kind of confusing, but pretty much what I'm going based off today. They pretty much told me that the baby was measuring pretty much based off my last menstrual. I think baby was measuring like 12 weeks and four days or five days, something like that. So they said that they were gonna keep me at my 13 weeks and two days based off my last menstrual when really I thought I was going in barely turning 12 weeks. Like I thought I was going to the ultrasound about to turn 12 weeks and they were saying, no, we're gonna keep you at 13 weeks and two days. Um, and I was, and I just said, okay, you know, like, 
uh, that's fine. And I had an ultrasound not with my OB. My I had two appointments that day. The first one was ultrasound that they went more in depth, the one that my OB doesn't do, where they go a little bit more in depth with like measurements and stuff. So they pretty much just told me to talk to my OB about it and um, see what she wants to do from there. But basically, baby is pretty much measuring based off my last period. So I'll show you some pictures. Um, excuse my nails, I need to get them done. But here's, well, I don't want to show like, okay. Let me just fold the top because I don't know what kind of information will be showing up there, but. Okay, so here's the baby, baby's head. And then here's a more up close. My nails are so nasty. Here's a um, more up close of the baby's head. And then, let's see. Baby was being pretty silly and was sitting on, I don't know how well you guys can see, maybe if I turn it this way, it'd be better, but baby was kind of like sitting on its legs. Um, and then, oh, I guess that one's like the baby's hand or, anyways, that one's not very clear, but um, so that, and then I also got like a little 3D, which this just looks like a big, blob <laughs> um but anyways baby was very active and that ultrasound took like an hour because the measurements that they were trying to get there i guess they were trying to get like a measurement or um see something on like the baby's um nose but the baby had its hand like over its that side of its nose so they could not see and they kept trying to like get the baby to move but it just did not want to move um so it took a little bit longer, but that was okay because of course I enjoyed watching the baby move and all that. So very active, healthy, growing right on track. Um, as far as the OB, my actual OB appointment, she pretty much said let's, since she doesn't have the information from the first ultrasound yet, um, she said the first ultrasound is pretty much the most accurate, so we're gonna keep the same due date on as September 16th for now. So she said we'll just keep me at the 12 weeks and just go based off the first ultrasound. So that's why I say today I'm 13 weeks and three days because I'm just going based off of that for now. I do have another appointment with her at the end of this month, and she said by then she should have like those results back from this ultrasound um from this ultrasound the one that i had that same day and then we'll determine from there what my actual due date is so like i said right now i'm either 13 weeks or i'm 14 weeks so it's kind of a little bit confusing until i go to my next appointment and that way we'll determine the exact due date and what we want to keep it as but i can tell you right now that i definitely feel like i'm further along i feel like i'm closer to 14 weeks based off my last menstrual i feel like i'm closer to the 14 week mark just because of like the way i'm growing and like symptoms and stuff i definitely feel like i'm further along by the look of the last ultrasound the baby definitely looked like we were further along so i don't know right now i'm just gonna claim the 13 weeks and three days and keep it at that until we get a final answer as far as symptoms go my nausea has completely went away um at some well like the actual vomiting like actual vomiting has completely went away i do have days where i feel like nauseous but it's not nearly as bad as it was in the beginning with xander i never really like actually threw up maybe like a handful of times and when i did it wasn't anything crazy it was more like dry heaving and a little bit whatever would come out but with this pregnancy i would actually like my whole soul would come out like i would actually vomit and it was bad so that is over with which i'm glad um as far as me being exhausted i don't feel like that's ever gonna go away i am i feel like it's just gonna get worse throughout my pregnancy just because um obviously one pregnancy i'm growing a baby and two i have a toddler so don't think that's ever gonna go away i'm so completely exhausted um heartburn the heartburn is real 
Uh, I know that they say like if you have heartburn, your baby, that means your baby is going to come out with a lot of hair. Um, I don't really know like how true that is. I mean, I guess it's true for some people um, and not true for some people. Uh, for me with Xander, I had a lot of heartburn and the kid was born with a full head of hair. So we'll see about this baby. They'll be kind of not funny, but funny if this baby comes out with like no hair because Xander came out with a full head. But anyways, um, what else for symptoms? Um, you know, I don't have a lot. Oh, um, dry skin. I noticed my face is like bumpy and I don't, at first I thought it was like a rash maybe because I switched like my um my face cream so I thought maybe it was a rash but it kind of like it wasn't getting worse with the cream so kind of like stopped using it and then my and then like to see if it would go away and it didn't go away and then I would use it again to see like if it would get worse and it didn't so I don't think it's that <clears throat> I think it's like pregnancy so my skin is super dry other than that i can't really think of anything major honestly sometimes i even forget that i'm pregnant until i like walk past the mirror and i see like my little bump and i'm like oh or like i like get dressed and my pants aren't fitting me i'm like oh great like you know so sometimes i just forget that i'm pregnant because my symptoms aren't really that bad i kind of just feel like you know just you know i kind of just feel like normal because I was tired even before I got pregnant because a toddler, you know, like it's exhausting. But like I said, most days I don't even feel pregnant, like I forget. But, um, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I feel like, what else? See, this is why I do updates like every four weeks or so because i feel like doing like weekly updates is not i mean at least for me like i don't have major changes like i really don't have changes from my last update like major changes um so i guess that's kind of it for some of them if i think of anything else i'll mention it but um as far as the gender reveal goes like i said tomorrow we go and find out at the ultrasound um it's not through my ob i'm going to like a place where you can find out early like you have to pay so we're gonna find that out and then drop the envelope off at my friend's house this gender reveal is not gonna be nearly as big as xander's was i had like a lot of people at xander's we had like bolts of, or not bolts of our parents but our family and a lot of our friends but this time i'm kind of just keeping it like small maybe like 12 to 15 people nothing crazy um i just kind of want like simple but like have like the close friends there family's not even coming because um because we do live in another state and they're just not able to make it out this time which is completely understandable that's okay we're gonna have like i said a few of our close friends and it's still gonna be nice and sweet and simple um what else what else what else um we decided that if it's another boy, we are not going to have like a baby shower because I had saved everything from Xander, like all his clothes. Um, so we don't really need like a baby shower, but we are going to do more of like a little baby sprinkle, maybe kind of like a beer diapers, like a beer and diapers or something along those lines. Um, just so we could still like, of course, celebrate and... You know you can never go wrong with like getting diapers and wipes and stuff so we'll still have like a little something but if it's a girl then of course we're gonna have an actual baby shower because i have like no girl clothes as far as like the bassinet the swing and all that we still have all that and all that i got like gender neutral because i knew i wanted to use it for our future kids so we have like the big stuff we have the car seat we have the stroller uh, our stroller turns into a double stroller so we have the stroller we have the bassinet we have like a lot of the main things that we're gonna be using for this baby so that's good because that saves us money on that part i think this is it for this update i'll do like a little bump shot for you guys to kind of show you um it's not fully like formed into a bump i wouldn't say but it's obviously a baby so i'll show you guys that really quick and then i'll end the video the front 
and I'm probably going to live in crop tops this summer. This <laughs> is from the side. And then I'll cut a pool. See, so it's like and this is from the side. And then the front. So, and the other side. So it's not like fully like formed into like a bump. I have this like little bit of extra skin from Xander. So like I said, it's not fully like formed into like a bump bump, but you could definitely tell that it's baby. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. It was a super quick update, nothing crazy. I will be filming, like getting ready for the gender reveal. So like I'm taking you guys along to get like last minute things and showing you guys kind of like how the setup's gonna be. And then I'm also gonna be filming the day of the gender reveal, like the setup and all of that. But the actual reveal is gonna be a whole separate video. So if you're not following me and you want to follow along this journey with us, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I'll leave my link in the description box for you guys down below to go follow me there. I post pretty much almost daily on my stories, so go follow me on there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.